What's up, everybody? Welcome back. There's more rust. We're gonna jump in. Today, I'm gonna show y'all how to be a solo rat and have the most fun in rust possible. We're just gonna get rolling. Let's jump in here, get a fresh spawn. All right, good start. Let's see. Nothing interesting yet. Any hidden ladders? This could be a bunker. No hidden ladders on it though. Alright. So first things first, let's figure out where we are. P12, abandoned cabins, harbor, ranch is there, shop is there. It's probably something big. Ooh. That actually might be worth looking at. Decays. Decayed shops, at least. All these shops are going to be prime targets for mischief here. That's probably an absolute juicer, even though there's probably a cave down there. You know what? Let's start... Um, let's scope this one out and see what's going on with it. We're gonna farm this pig up right quick. I'm using a rock because I'm right outside of this safe zone, and I think if I tried to harvest it with a tool, I'd get aggroed. Get a little bit of low grade. One thing to keep in mind about the server choice, this server is about 24 days old, so it's a full monthly wipe, which is like the longest pretty much that you can have in Rust. When you choose a server that has such a long wipe schedule, there's going to be a lot of bases that are in the process of decaying already or, you know, some that are just about to start decaying and are going to be pretty easy raids for a solo. And when you're playing solo, the one thing you really want to try to do is make the most of your time because time is kind of the one thing that you don't have an endless supply of. All right, let's get up here, get a couple more tools. Ooh, paddle's not nice. Paddle is a great tool for um, a rat like me. Um, if you're solo ratting, grab paddles when you can because you can use those in outpost and other safe zones and they don't aggro on you. Ooh, free water. That's always good too. Oh. Love that. Have a day. Okay. Interesting. Oh, free water. Perfect. For perfect. Perfect. Oh, yeah. These guys haven't been drinking it either, so it's probably their game. Can't immediately tell if this was it's probably rated. Unless the metal is decaying and that's all, which I doubt. Nope, so this was probably rated. Alright guys, let's go ahead and see what we can do with this base here. Here we go, let's do this one instead. Okay, so it looks like somebody must have like blown in here and then realized that they were SOL. As are we. Alright, so we ran around junk. There wasn't all that much at Junkyard. Uh, we got a preview of this base over here, which is just a big clan. Um, and it looks like there might be some goop. But this thing also popped up. And I kind of want to check it out. We got a free horse, which is basically like a ladder to get past the first floor, which is huge. This looks like it was a raid. That's probably the raid base. Oh, shotgun trap. Let's go ahead and get the horse away from there. So, this is looking promising. Ooh, that decay is imminent. Alright, let's try something here. Yep. 
So that is still active, and I don't know if we can hit it without getting hit, is the thing. I think that might be it. Let's check. Yeah, sweet. So we are hitting it, but it is full health, so it's going to take us a trillion years. Uh, forget that. That's a half height that opens up to what we want, so we're going to take this. That's still not great, but it'll work. Any more traps? No, but there's still building privilege. There may be more traps. Okay, we can get out of here, though, so that's clutch. Yes. Okay, interesting. There's definitely a battery in here still. This might be worth just leaving and coming back, too. Yeah, that's my professional opinion as we come back when that has had some more time to decay. this. Always check these when you see them. See? Always check those when you see them. Let's do some recycling. So I was horsing around here by this abandoned swamp type thing. Found this little guy, which is a little wonky looking. But I also found this, which looks like it's in the process of decaying, which is kind of nice. So let's go ahead and uh, see if we can get any goods from it. Since the industrial update, it's actually pretty important to grab charcoal when you see it, especially if you're a solo. A lot of people are buying charcoal, and uh, it's very easy to hold on to it. You don't have anything else. <laughs> In your inventory. Um, yeah. So, that's what we're looking for. Um, yeah, we're looking for this. This is, this is what we, uh, this is what we wanted. Specifically, this is, yeah. Um, yeah. So, this, this is, this is the stuff, um, specifically that we were looking for here. Now, um, you'll notice that we're in kind of a tight spot right now because we don't have a, uh, a base yet. So that's a problem. And we are one cloth short of a sleeping bag. <laughs> There's a bear. That actually is good. These trees are terrible for farm, but we might not... Well, we actually have one other option. So let's just... Oh god, okay, um, good lord, this is what we're gonna do. Y'all pay attention. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna raid this base right quick with what we just got, and then uh, we're gonna take over this little base here so that way we have a place to start. Um, we've got a lot of HEs. Let's go ahead and get stuff in here that won't kill us, and get the stuff that will kill us out of here. That way in case anybody shows up. They won't one-hit kill us. That should take care of that. This box still has not too much in it. Okay, yeah, let's just not get too greedy. Let's not get too greedy at all. We need to think carefully about what we're going to do here. <clears throat> all right. I would really love to have a bag down right over here. So let me see if I can get a touch more cloth. Also, we're just a touch short of one TC. I don't know how we got so scuffed on stuff here. One cloth short. How is that even possible? Alright. That's what we needed. We're gonna need a... sleeping bag? Tool cupboard. That'll create room for the bag. Please. this be enough? Oh, there's a metal door inside. Maybe we try to go through the roof? What? Give me this. Okay. Um, not exactly sure how many mollies it is to get through a floor, but I need to get past that metal door anyway, so we might as well just try this. We're 
Worst case, we can always use some of these guys. All right, we'll let that burn for a sec. You know what, while we're here, let's see if we can't work our way to ladder if we don't have it yet. Dude, we don't have shit. Okay. Okay. Well, one scrap short. We're one of everything short of everything in this. Hopefully this isn't going to draw too much attention, but it might. Alright, so I'm a goddamn moron, and I died. I've never used the GL. This is literally the first time I've ever even touched the GL, so, uh, forgive me, but hopefully nobody heard that. We'll find out. <laughs> if I get countered by somebody who just, like, walks into all that loot, I'm gonna feel like such an idiot. This is what happens when you're a solo. Sometimes you miscalculate. I really feel like they should put a damn crosshair on the GL, though. I mean... I was aiming at the roof. I, I don't even know how that thing was going all the way over the roof. I, you know, maybe that was on me for not trying to kill myself, but at the same time, like, how the hell is that supposed to work? Oh, I'm gonna get countered by a pig, dude. Pig counter. All right, let's hustle. Let's just hope we get back in time. Well, kind of a little bit of an L in terms of using those GLs. Not the biggest fan of how that worked out for us, but you live and you learn, or you die and you learn, uh, in this case. Horse is still there. Love it. Okay. Rekit. Jump back in. Take over this base. Secure it. Take over this thing. Game over. Wait, is the GL still down here? I think it's up top. Wait, did I not drop the GL when I died? No, I must... No, I must have. There's no way I didn't. There it is. Okay. Oh, yeah, baby. Well, we can chop this wall. That'll get rid of that door. Okay. Now we do... Not the most secured, but it's a great start. Jeez Louise. Okay, so minor fumble, yet we still didn't lose anything significant, so I still call that a dub. Okay, we get another box rolling. Yup. I don't want to put this here for now. Perfect. Yeah, that'll work. We can hatch at this wall still, but then no one can raid us through that. Nice. Okay. Second box. Let's see how they did on the placement of the first. Oh, they actually did a pretty good job. So comps are going to go in here. Buildables go down. Let's get the rest of this and then we'll dip. We'll start figuring out what we want to do with this wall. See, this thing is decaying also. The armor it isn't, but the metal is. So these actually, these guys might, might actually get back online. They'd be like, what the hell? But uh, if they do, it's going to be a little too late. 